Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Uh, you already know, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep coming back and you can see the new videos that we're going to upload. Uh, today, we're going to do it a little bit different. Uh, we're coming from home instead of the warehouse uh, because of the coronavirus. But today, we're going to jump straight off into the video. Um, and sorry about the lighting and everything. Like I said, it's a little bit different. Um, but today video, today's video is going to be over how to set up a Q wedge for, with the wing, Behringer wing console. This is for if, you know, uh, you're a monitor guy and you're trying to hear, um, um, what your artist is hearing downstage. You have a wedge set up next to you and your artist says, Hey, you know, I need to hear more of myself. Well, you, you may have a wedge set up next to you. So now you can queue up exactly what they're hearing. So you can do that. All right. So let's jump straight off into it. Uh, the first thing is you want to go off into your routing section and set up your routing for it. Uh, we're going to use right now uh, local one channel one output. All right. Because we have a wedge set up on one, we already have it selected. I was already in my monitor output section, so we go down here to monitor. We're going to be using B because um, A is more for your headphones and stuff like that. So we want to be able to still use our headphones and then also use our wedges uh, with B. So let's, and we're just going to do. A mono channel for right now so let's select oh first remember you got to unlock to be able to do anything so we have that selected so let's select that so now it's over there we can lock it back we can come out of here so now let's hit the view button over here in our monitor and talk back section all right so now after we're in here, what we want to do is hit our little um, uh, mechanical tool dial, whatever you want to call it, and go off into the monitor settings and switch this to studio. studio. Um, like I said, the settings are a little quirky. Maybe they'll update it in the future. I was thinking uh, you should be able to still do it in live but for what we need to do um we have to go to studio because if we don't every time we solo any section or any um channel we'll be able to jump back to a so um instead of uh, monitoring b so instead of it being our wedge it'll just be our headphones it'll be so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we're in live right now, I want to solo this one. Well, you see how it jumps to A to just the headphones. Well, I won't be able to hear that wedge right now because it jumped jumped to A. All right. So what we have to do is we have to go to studio. Now, when we want to monitor A and B, now we can do both in that, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to play a track from the USB drive, which we can play four channels from the USB drive. So we're just going to play some tracks from the USB just so we can solo them and make sure that we're good, all right? So let's go up here. It's just drums. It's everything. So we're good. So we're good. We're we're actually able to solo different channels. So that's how you use that's how you set up your Q wedge on the Behringer Wing um, console, guys. If you have any questions, make sure you put it in the comments below. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any 
uh, questions or ideas for any other videos on the Behringer Wing Console or any other products, make sure you hit us up and let us know. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. This has been Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Thanks.